Welcome back to History 102. We continue our discussion uh, about Baroque, addressing the different characteristics and the paintings that um, I, you have in front of you. Uh, right now we'll be looking at Velázquez, addressing his contribution to this era. Uh, just quick background to Velázquez. Velázquez was uh, the artist of the Spanish crown. He, at this, during this period, he was no better than probably most of the help at this time. So even though today we might look at artists as, uh, as avant-garde and, and maybe their artwork is really expensive, back then an artist uh, was no better than some of the help. So what made Velazquez special is that he really focused on everyday people. As you can see in this image, these are not people that are of any high status. They just seem to be everyday people. So I want you to analyze this image too uh, as a precursor to the next one that's really the important one in regards to absolutism. So I want you to describe um, the subject matter to begin with. Number two, I want you to give me three examples of the different textures that he's able to show in this image that he painted. So I want you to address how uh, texture is depicted and look at three different examples of, the, of three different textures in this image and how, compare and contrast them. What are the differences um, between, let's say, the clothing versus some of the, the um, bases that he has there? versus the facial features, whatever you choose, but choose three and compare and contrast them. Uh, question number three, I want you to focus where your eye is drawn to. So if you had to pick a point in this image as to where your eye focuses on, what would that be it? So tell me that. And then how does the artist utilize uh, light and darkness to kind of force your eye in a particular section of this image? Uh, one of the major characteristics of Baroque is that they play with perspective. And this is a great example of how light is utilized to ch um, challenge where the focal point is on this image. And the last question, number four, how does the viewer engage with this artwork? So again, not maybe you might not care about this image itself, but uh, remember that Baroque really reflects this notion of involvement with the viewers, unlike the Renaissance. So how is the viewer interacting with this image? So I want you to analyze those four key points. All right, and after this, we will look at uh, his most famous piece, uh, Las Meninas, and not only address Baroque, but also look at the idea of how he challenges absolutism.